Hey fairy grasshoppers, it's Bridget. Nice to see you today. I have a story share. I'm gonna to talk to you about a recent healing experience I had, a session where I received healing work. Now, I was working with my divine feminine um, coach, let's call her that, because that's probably the best way to describe her. I've been working a lot with the energy of Shakti recently in the last few months since probably the solstice, the summer solstice really rocked my world, let's just say. And prior to that, in the beginning of the year in January, so for the first six months of the year, I was working on my role as a, as a mother and changing my relationships with my kids in positive ways. And I had um, started to work with this divine feminine coach who's a really good friend of mine who I've known for uh, probably like 10 years now. And so I've been doing consistent work with her weekly for probably the last two months, maybe. It's Friday night, and when I'm recording this, I'm not sure when you guys are watching this, but I'm having a glass of wine because I'm having a glass of wine. Moscato, if you're wondering. And so today we had a session, and I just had a session with her on Tuesday and today's Friday, and I had to have another one. I was like, okay, stuff is moving, things are coming up, I need some assistance, are you available? Yes, she was, and so... Boom, we do session. I step into session, I asked her for some specific things about how to really separate my energy from other people's energy and allow myself to have this self-realization, actualization of the Shakti that's moving through me. Not Shakti in the form of like sacred sensual or sacred sexual necessarily, but Shakti like life source, like life source energy and Kundalini energy, which is that core coming up from the root chakra up and into the body. And I am very, very much in my energetic working a crown down person. I've always, 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 always been a crown chakra down for energetic flow, like stars, yes, receive in this way. Now, the last few months, I have been solar, very connected to my belly and my solar plexus, sun chakra, and I have been really digging the divine feminine, mother energy coming from the earth root, so the root, so like the root chakra, the sacral chakra. I literally feel like I got my sacral chakra back. I felt like it was gone on vacation, closed for business for a while, energetically. I just, and I think it's from the transition of, from being a mother in a womb space and being very productive and, and utilitarian and very physical and very functional and overachieving because I've had four kids and six pregnancies and la 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 la, fabulous. Let's just say, winning. No, just kidding. Okay, so here's the thing. I literally feel like I got it back this year, this summer, and now we're in the fall. I'm recording this video in October, and I had this session today, this energy session, and, and it wasn't intended as an energy session. I just was just talking to her, saying, okay, how do I separate somebody else's energetic feelings or other people's energetic feelings or needs and my own, and my own needs for somebody else's energy in my field. So it could be any anything for you. Like if you're working with this yourself, it could be like a, your child's needs. Cause I have two kids that are totally different cities, you know, in the college vibes. And then I have two kids that are at home. One is in high school, one is in junior high. And then I have a husband working from home. And I just, there's a lot of different dynamics energetically. And so there's this kind of awareness for me to organize things in a way that makes sense where I also have to be able to really just source myself for my needs and what I want and how I feel and how just this powerful knowing of owning the energy that's flowing through me and choosing how to move the energy through my body. And it is this sacred portal and vessel. It is connected to the sacred sensual, sacred sexual energy of Shakti but it's also Shiva energy. So Shakti is feminine, Shiva is masculine. And so I was talking to her and we were talking about kind of separating like timelines and past lives and present lives and future lives and all that and kind of just being the center. And then this energy of um, this breath work 
we did a little bit and at first I was kind of resistant to it. I was like, yeah, I'll do it by myself because it felt very like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I'm like, well, I don't want to get too excited when I'm breathing energy through my chakras with you. I'm like, yeah, that might get kind of weird, I said. And then I'm like, wait a minute. This is just energy work. This isn't mind. Women should think this and men should think that. And this is how it is. And it's very black and white. And it's very too sex focused. And it's not organic and fluid. And it, But I know that everything is organic and fluid and all that. So I'm like, whoa okay, yes, let's do this breath work. And I did, I let go and I did it. And I was like, whoa. In fact, after I'm like, I had to tell my kid who was in the, I'm in the green room. And so it's like concrete and windows and stuff. But his room is not that far from me. And I thought, um, I was kind of loud, making some noises, <laughs> releasing. <laughs> Sounded like I was a, a wild animal. I felt like it, releasing and just like, we did this incredible grief stuff where at the back of my my lungs and my rib cage just squeezing out the energy of the grief and the sadness and like ah and just releasing it into the earth and like animal like and it felt so good. Oh my gosh. I felt so relieved and so powerful and so peaceful and contented and held and loved and honored and whole and it was awesome. I did not expect any of that. But I let go and I just Surrender to the process, and it was amazing. And I'm like, whoa, it's powerful. And it was this cool, like, figure eight, infinity sign energy, and I was really aligned with the divine masculine. I was so connected to the masculine, and coming up from the root chakra into the, the sacrum, which is where the eight original cells are, because I've done healing and clearing work. I do that. I do clearing work for myself, and I'll do it in session. And healing and clearing is the same. It's the yin and the yang. It's the masculine and feminine in basic terms. When I say that, I don't mean man and woman. I mean masculine and feminine as far as dominant energy is kind of forces, right? And it was like this base under the, kind of under your butt, in the back of that tailbone, kind of just holding that space there versus like the yoni or the vagina in the front for me, like, cause I'm feminine, so I have girl parts, right? And it's like, instead of coming up the front and through the womb space and then to the belly and then up into the heart, I was like under <laughs> the body, coming back and up and in, into the heart from the back and then kind of allowing that energy from the grief and the sadness and the whatever the that was from lifetimes just and then breathing it up and then coming back up and in and over the top of the head with the third eye activated and the tongue and the uh the serpent the the cobra energy and the just the release and the out into the earth the kalima and oh my gosh you guys it was amazing i felt so powerful and it really gives me a tremendous sense of awareness of my energy, what I bring. And so to any relationship or any connection that I make, I what I bring and how I show up and how I can breathe in that energy and right in to my body and pulling it up and sourcing it up from the earth and then just expressing it however I choose to express it through the sun chakra and the, the stomach and through the heart chakra and out or the throat chakra and sharing and I mean just there's so much capacity and opportunity it's just so beautiful and I'm so grateful for the spirit guide that I had in human form my dear dear friend who's a beautiful divine feminine coach such a priestess such a holder of all that is sacred and the shakti energy and it literally was like this tantric flow breath work chakra, shakti, kundalini energy all working together. And it could not have happened unless I trusted her implicitly, and I did. To honor and witness and hold space for me while I was working through the energy of the process of reclaiming my own chakras and my own energy flow and acknowledging that I bring myself to every relationship, every communication, every connection in whatever way I choose to. And when I draw and receive someone into my energy space, especially with just my intimate, sacred, personal space. It just, I can draw them in and breathe them in and then they can, so I, I had this experience, this intimate experience with the energy of 
really feeling myself and knowing myself reflected in that way. And it was profound and confusing and beautiful and unreal and transcendent. And so I think there's so much opportunity to get to know ourselves better and involve, embrace and ev evolve, evolve and embrace all the access to all of the power that's inside of us. I had such a beautiful experience today and I, I will never forget how powerful I felt in those moments when I was breathing in and receiving that energy and then exhaling to release it and gifting it to the earth, just like purging it into the earth. And it's like penetration. It's literally like this. It does feel very like almost sexual creation-like. It feels creation-like, really procreative. And it's like this releasing uh, in, out and down into the earth and then it's like this penetrative energy that just goes into the earth and then it comes back up and then I can receive it that way, just like I gave it. And it's just this like pulsing kind of exchange of balance of life source energy. And it feels beautiful and powerful and strong. And I love it. It felt amazing. And I just wanted to share that with you. I know this is really, really deep. It's a divine feminine journey. It's a Shakti journey is how I would describe it and to the sacred feminine. And you have to be able to own your power in that regard and understand it and get to be willing to start to understand it better and build relationship within yourself and your chakras and your Shakti and understand the Kundalini from the earth and what that means and that the penetration piece is such a dominant part of it that like piercing this kind of barrier and then allowing that energy to move inside of you and not feel as though it's manipulating you or using you, but feel as though you're receiving it and playing with it, working it, working it, and then creating with it, co-creating. It's just, it's so hard to explain this, but it's so profound and amazing. So that was good. So that was my Friday. How was yours? <laughs> mm -hmm. Now you see why I needed a glass of wine tonight, huh? My heart feels really strong and I feel steady and I feel super balanced and I feel like this big tree and these branches and the stars and I feel like um, it's weird because my feet like the roots of a tree, I could not feel that. All I could feel was my base of my spine at the back of me, like literally my tailbone, you know, the point at your tailbone, that sacrum. Like if you get a chiropractic adjustment, it's your sacrum. And it, to me, it looks like a triangle and it kind of turns like a dial. Like when I psychically see it on people and I'm trying to like adjust their codes or their energy grids, um, that's what it looks like a dial, but it has a triangle in the middle and it points down like Shakti because that's what mine looks like, I guess. I don't know what everybody else's looks like. That's what mine looks like. And it's right like at my butt, you know, at the bottom of my butt, at my... Um, root chakra <laughs> to my tailbone. I don't know how else to describe it, you guys. And that's just what it is. And then I see the, that tap root, like that triangle going into the earth, like, like, a, like dropping in like a tail or a tap root, a tap root, one root, a singular root, not multiple, like fingers into the earth, like feet into the earth and toes. I see root from my core of my base of my body. So like, both the places where I can receive in my body, right? I feel the, at the bottom, at the base, I feel the tap root going in as like this third kind of centering grounding energy. Not my feet, not my legs. It's crazy, but it literally feels like my butt has to be on the earth. Like that's how I envision stuff when I'm grounding myself. Cause that's how it works for me. You know, that's how it works for me. So whatever works for you, whatever, right? But that's how it works for me. So if something that somebody else is teaching you or a meditation that you're experiencing doesn't quite feel right to you or fit you and you feel like, oh, there's something wrong with you, there's nothing wrong with you. You just have to adapt it and adjust it to meet your unique needs because we all have unique energetic needs. When somebody else helps us and supports us, it's just a starting point. It's not the be all end all. This is the one way. Here's the instructions. Follow them specifically. It's not like that. It's like, here's some guidelines. Make it up as you go along if you choose to. And always fall back on the plan if you need it. <laughs> so here's a reference guy. And then make your own. You know, it's like art, right? It's creative. It's a co-creative creation process. So yeah, it's been a really good day that way of being 
in awareness with myself and I look forward to my dream state. I wonder if I'm going to process in my dreams. We'll see how my evening goes, but we'll see. I have a couple days to get through the weekend and into next week. And then the week after, I actually am going to go on a trip. I don't know when I'm going to share this particular video on Furry Grasshopper on my vlog stuff, um, but I'm going to be on a trip the last week of the month of October. And I'm really excited about it. It's very self-reflective, very nurturing, very much like a journey of discovery, allowing myself time and room to be with myself in sacred space and to explore and have experiences in energetic ways, you know, and to be away from the home and away from the responsibilities and things and to just really be in my own space and my own state in a beautiful place. I'm going to stay at a gorgeous inn and I'm looking forward to it. And I have friends nearby too, so I get to be semi-social and make connections. So that'll be good and have some fun time like that too, but also some spirit time. So I'm looking forward to that. And I'm not really sure how it's going to go. I mean, I could totally have like this crisis of Shakti consciousness or something. I don't know. I really don't know what to expect. I'm trying to just be open. I just did cut my hair. You guys probably noticed, right? Have you seen the videos? Look at how short it is. The shortest it's ever been in my life. Like if I could show you the back, I don't know if you can see the back. It is so short. It is all shaved, basically shaved. And I love it. Does it make sense to do this when it's wintry and cold and I love the sun and not the cold, but I bought headbands already. I already have these two big headbands that I can wear, cover my ears and the sides of my head. And I just love how it feels. It feels so hot, so sexy. <laughs> I love it. I'm like feeling my own hair going, wow, I love, like the back of my head, like this whole like, oh my God, it just, oh my God, I love it. And I think it's because my third eye can feel my third eye here now. It's like, oh, it's so clear and it feels so good. It feels so bridgety. <laughs> so anyway, all right, so let's have some water to wrap up this video. Because whenever you have wine, you should totally have water, just a public service a message. <laughs> Thanks so much for your grasshoppers for being here. I hope you've enjoyed my very personal share about energy work, a session I just had, unexpected energetic session actually. I get to do that with clients too sometimes. Sometimes that's what happens, you know? We do energetic work and shift and help clear things and that's just part of what you get with me because I'm not just psychic, not just an intuitive life coach, but I'm also a clear and a healer helper, so. So I hope I've inspired your spirit, filled you with some hope tonight and encouraged you to live your life. It's your life after all, live it with Shakti. Live it, just live it. I know I'm gonna with the Shiva and the Shakti energy. I really like the Shiva, that masculine, I kinda like that, I like them both. I like them both very, very much. <laughs> so thanks so much for watching, have a great night.